For the children in the northern Iraq camp of Dibaga, this visitor is a welcome distraction from the daily camp routine. But for their parents and grandparents, Christos Stylianidis, the EU Commissioner for Humanitarian Aid, is someone who embodies hope. Are you satisfied from uh, this assistance? I want lunch, and I, sometimes I don't. Uh, I couldn't get uh, most of the services here, and there's a very long row. The camp, largely financed by the EU, is overcrowded, providing shelter to some 27,000 people. But more are coming every day from around Iraq's second largest city, Mosul, still controlled by the so-called Islamic State. Up to one million people could be forced to flee their homes as fighting intensifies. It's very emotional and, of course, uh, it's very painful for us to see the situation on the ground and to feel the suffering of the people. We give these people hope and dignity. Dignity that has a high price here, it seems. The commissioner is told if the camp were to be expanded, it could cost up to one million euros in rent for the surrounding private land. So are you guys going to pay? Is the government going to pay? No. But the Kurdish response is no. The new arrivals are already expensive enough to deal with. Many have lived under IS rule for years and have to be screened before entering the camp. We have some uh, uh, experience. Uh, one month ago when family was uh, fleeing, one of them, he suicided himself and 12 people was injured. One reason, the security for the commissioner is very high. But so are his ambitions. We can make a difference in Iraq. Daesh will be defeated on the battlefield, but we must also defeat their poisonous ideology and narrative. This is maybe more difficult. Stylianidis is visiting Iraq for the third time. At temperatures around 50 degrees Celsius, the landscape has dried up, as has the budget of the Kurdish regional government. In Erbil, I'm told President Masoud Bazani is concerned about the low oil prices and the cost of fighting IS. Commissioner Stiglianidis has one meeting after the other lined up here in Erbil and the message he gets is almost always the same. The autonomous region in the north of Iraq needs more help from the European Union. The commissioner is told that providing for more refugees would be beyond Kurdish capabilities. Politicians here are well aware of the kind of leverage they have. If they can provide their needs here, they would not be coming to your doorstep as asylum seekers. So the migration will continue to Europe unless we try to address the root causes of the problem while here. Stylianidis has already increased the humanitarian aid for Iraq by 194 million euros, but he knows it's not enough. The needs are so, so huge and is something beyond of our, our abilities and our capacity, capacities, capacity to meet these needs. And this is why um, I strongly believe that we need to have, we need global answer. If the liberation of Mosul starts without that answer, Stylianidis warns Iraq could face yet another humanitarian catastrophe.